upset so that this brahman was there before creation and the tama asit so this tamas was there uh, before creation which is called mola prakriti so then what happened so akamayat bahusyam prajaye so this brahman then got this desire okay let me create so he then stirs the mola prakriti into action okay so the traditional rendering there is brahman says om atataha so then that vibration creates ripples in mola prakriti and those ripples creates three sets of entities called sattva rajas and tamas okay so there is some confusion about what the sattva rajas and tamas actually means people say sattva guna rajoguna and tamo guna that's correct but what has gunas guna means attributes or qualities what has object, what has qualities it's the objects that have qualities so when i talk about sattva guna what i mean is those objects that have the qualities of sattva those objects that have quality of rajas those objects that have quality of tamas so these are the objects that are in a in in a suspended animation in mula prakriti so that is what is going on here so the brahman is basically setting out these vibrations and then the mula prakriti goes into motion and he initially creates these three sets of subtle very subtle material entities okay now the three subtle material entities i thought was interesting because i thought why sattva rajas tamas why there should be only three why there could have been five there could have been five different things there could have been six different things or there could have been two why only sattva rajas and tamas and this seems fully fitting into the current thinking in cosmology where if you break down matter and keep on breaking it down you go down to atoms you go down to neutrons protons you break them down you go into subatomic particles then you go into quarks semi quarks then you break them further then you have something called fermions the current thinking is mathematically there can only be three type of fermions they mix with each other and different combinations of mixing creates various subatomic particles and then they become at a various uh, you know subatom uh, they become neutrons protons and so on so that is the current prevailing hypothesis it might have changed but last time when i read this i was quite in fact three types of fermions sattva rajas guna three types in our in our philosophy as well it is always three it's not four say so anyway, it coming back to this so mola prakriti stirs into action by brahman three different types of material things with certain attributes of creator so these are called sattva rajas and tamas okay so here what i want to do is i want to take you to a couple of concepts uh, in shrimad bhagavatam the shrimad bhagavatam then starts here and then he says you know creation is of nine stages there are nine stages of creation and three types of destruction and it goes into great length in uh, third canto and also in the second canto it grows into great length but here i have listed just a few verses which is extremely interesting and is also for our own understanding as to all this what is this mahat tattva ahankara tattva there lots of confusion it helps us place it where they are supposed to be okay so then there is also another verse the very first verse in bhagavatam is yata idanin tadagre cha paschat api etat idrusham so that is that verse there so what that means is in rigveda there is a very similar verse called data yata purvam akalpayate which means the same being creates universe every time as how it was in the previous creation he doesn't bring anything new how it was in the previous creation the same thing comes in the new creation okay and that creation happens in nine stages the first is six stage i have listed here so let us go back to this so you have sattva rajas and tamas so these are gunas but when i say guna it means the objects that have that kind of gunas they all start mixing so when they mix sattva rajas tamo gunas are very very subtle matter uh, when they mix together they form what is called as mahat mahat is also a, a very subtle form of matter okay now a part of mahat so basically what the philosophy there is creation and the creation of the universe is starting from the most subtle to become the most gross 
from subtle you become more and more and more gross by mixing so that is how creation comes about and we all know when you make um, uh, some you know uh, palgova for example you're taking milk and you heat it heat it heat it until it becomes gross and gross and gross and you have the palgova in it yeah it's something like that so mahat is a very subtle form of matter okay a portion of the mat mahat then becomes a little bit more gross so that slightly more gross form is called ahankara okay you should not confuse this ahankara tattva with the ahankara which is a component of the mind yeah so that that you need to be clear so this ahankara is also a, a part of matter it is a, a subtle matter but slightly more grosser than the tattva then the uh, the vedic philosophy says this ahankara tattva which is which is again subtle matter then a portion of the ahankara tattva divides into three and it names this as vaikarika tejasa and tamasa ahankara okay so now remember these are all still states of matter they just have specific names in vedic philosophy so now the tamasa ahankara then becomes what is called pancha tanmatra which is again subtle matter and the pancha tanmatras then become pancha bhutas which is the gross matter so what is the gross matter akasha vayu tejas ap and prithivi the five elements are the gross matter but the five elements have their origin from mula prakriti sattva rajas tamas mahat ahankara then tamas ahankara pancha tanmatra and pancha bhuta then they become the akasha vayu tejas ap and prithivi yeah now the pancha tanmatras are the subtle elements or the qualities of space shabda sound vayu touch tejas form ap uh, is rasa taste prithivi gandha smell so these are subtle forms of matter we all know gandha is what gandha is what you smell that smell is is not some the smell is chemicals yes the chemicals that goes to your nostril is what gives you the sense of ganda so those chemicals are subtle matter and that is what the philosophers are saying when i say pancha tanmatra when i say ganda it is that subtle matter yeah so from a tamasa ahankara you get pancha tanmatras and pancha bhutas so this should not be confused that these are all states of matter now this gets interesting so the vedic philosophy of creation is non living things so the jadas that are made of the made in the universe they go through this path of mahat ahankara tamasa ahankara pancha tanmatra and pancha bhutas okay these are non living things so then the vedic seers then the vedic philosopher says you also need to create other components in this universe so that the souls become aware of the pancha bhutas so to become aware of the pancha bhutas how do we become aware of the external world around us we use our sense organs so even those are created so the philosopher says that the tejasa ahankara the matter becomes karma indriyas and jnana indriyas jnana indriyas with the shrotra swak chakshus rasana and grana you perceive the external world that is the indra indriyas jnana indriya and the karma indriya so from the sense object you are using your sense organs now the information has gone into the sense organs but you still need to process that information so what happens is the vaikarika ahankara which is again a type of subtle matter becomes mind mind with five components manas buddhi ahankara chitta and chetana and the mind then you need to create the mind to process all this information that is coming from the sense organs and the buddhi is there as a discriminative faculty so these 24 so i've listed 24 entities five karma indriyas five jnana indriyas five tanmatras five bhutas manas buddhi ahankara and mahat so these form the 24 components of creation so this is the very first thing that needs to happen even before further creation happens so this is the 24 big elements these are elements yeah now when you combine this 24 elements then they become brahmanda 
so you might have heard about the word brahmanda and how chaturmukha brahma sits in it okay so this brahmanda is a combination of these 24 elements and this brahma then brings forth this creation yeah so how does that happen okay now what i have told so far is the creation of non living things HinduKnowledgeAcademy.com will celebrate Vedic culture and present its philosophies to the modern Hindu in an accessible format. Our ancient heritage is our greatest strength. Through preservation and dissemination, together let us spread positivity in the world. Thank you for listening and welcome to Hindu Knowledge Academy.